Hello, hello, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming clear. Uh, please invite your friends. Uh, I know we are too early, but it's okay. God is good, and we are here to share the truth. You know, somebody sent me this uh, a link about uh, an atheist making a video, supposedly, to talk about mistakes in the Quran, about the earth being flat. Now, there's nothing new there. I mean, all those things we spoke about it for maybe before the atheists even know what Quran is about. And actually, the atheists did not attack Quran. Uh, I mean, this is something new. I mean, always they attack Christianity. But then when they thought that there is uh, uh, many immigrant Muslims around them and they, they are making videos on the internet and etc., so the atheists did jump uh, to change their career from attacking Christianity only to attack Islam in the side. But still, atheists, they consider that the most dangerous belief is a Christianity, not Islam. Uh, <clears throat> now, in this video here, this uh, this gentleman who made this video, I cannot play it all, so they will not say copyright issue, but we will play for you a part where he's speaking supposedly about how, why the Quran says that Allah, uh, he uh, put the mountains in the top of the earth so as not going to be shake. I mean, <clears throat> uh, obviously this is a mistake in the Quran, but uh, the atheist here always he have to play a dirty game. So I will play a little part to see what we will talk about. And let me know, please, if the sound is coming good from the video. And he has set up on the earth mountain standing firm, lest it should shake with you. 21 colon 31. And we have set on the earth mountain standing firm, lest it should shake with them. 31 colon 10. He set on the earth mountain standing firm, lest it should shake with you. In the past, there were obviously beliefs that the earth had roots and that the mountains did too. Aristotle says that the old writers who invented theogenies wanted the earth and sea to have foundations and roots of their own. Job 28 colon 9 and also Jonah 2 colon 6 both talk about the roots of mountains. Okay, here look, look how silly this atheist. We are talking about that the Quran saying that the mountains placed in the top of the earth. What that have to do with the roots? First of all, here just to show you the silliness of the atheist. Do you remember Samir Abdullah, the atheist who spoke to me two days ago? And he said to me, the first question he gave me, he said to me, how come the Bible says the earth was covered by earth? And if you go to his uh, his video channel, you will see how many comments of Muslims laughing at me saying, yes, it was. In fact, science, science proved that this is true. It doesn't take the atheist, the silly atheist, a second to search in Google and they will find that in their own scientist newspaper or magazine, it says it clearly, early earth was covered in a global ocean and had no mountains. So yes, the mountains and everything was covered by water and that's what the Bible says but the atheists they make fun of you until now because they are repeating the same question for centuries even though when their science agree with the Bible still they ask you the same silly question because they are silly people who they are copy paste and now here the same the same issue the guy he's trying to compare between uh, uh, mistakes in the Quran and suddenly he speak about the roots of the mountains in fact the Bible is speaking about roots is very accurate I mean, how silly, how stupid the one who made this video. You can go right now and search. This is the verse in the book of Job, where I speak about the roots of the mountains. When we say roots, what does that mean? It means the, the, where things started from. This is what roots is. And science agree that mountains have roots, and mountains, they grow. Uh, if you go right now and search on Google, you will find that, yes, mountains has roots. New science. 
this is not a Christian science. This is not. <laughs> this is your science. This is your atheist magazine. I mean, silly, stupid, idiot. And here we go. Okay, now the science agree with the Bible. So why you are saying? What? How you compare between what is this, the stupid Quran and the Bible? And you insert the Bible there to insert your boys poison. And this is why I warn the Christians: don't watch the atheist videos. Even though it appear like they are attacking Islam, but in fact, always they put their poison. They make you addicted to their, their poison to fool you. And don't take what they say for granted. Neither what the Christians say to you for granted. Search, use your brain. If a Christian prince, he says to you, yes, mountains have roots, don't believe him. Go and search. Me, myself, I'm not a scientist. I am not. And the Bible itself is not a book of science. And many phrases in the Bible, they are coming as a metaphorical thing. But even if you want to make it as a scientific thing, as you claim, it's still it is fine and it's good. Here we go. You said to me that the Bible is saying, and this is in the old days, they used to believe that, that the mountains have roots. First, the Quran does not say that. The Quran says that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth and he fixed them with nails. And there's a huge difference between roots and nails. Nails is coming from upside down, which means inserted in the ground, in the earth. A root is the opposite. It's coming from the ground up, not the opposite. So, my friend, <clears throat> be careful. And don't be silly and don't send me an atheist videos. Atheist for me, they are, I mean, I don't want to say, like we say Islam is a stupid, atheism is no different. Atheism is no different. Actually, I believe atheist is more in denial than Islam itself. Because atheists themselves, they believe in fictions. Big big bang theory. I mean, it's a, it's a theory. It's a, it's a theory. The Muslim, he have a theory, it's called Allah, and he will make his penis in this. And you have a theory that you used to be nothing, and you the nothing explode, or something explode. But you cannot explain to us, and how this happened, and what's the proof? There's no proof. And he convinced that he's, you know, this is this is the true, this is the true. Science says, what science? It's a theory. And there's tons of thousands of scientists that reject the Big Bang Theory. So, uh, you know, when the Bible says, let be light, and it was. We can play the game and say this is the Big Bang. But we are not silly and we are not stupid. God say, let be, and it was. Let be light. So I am as a Christian, I can, okay, I will go with the atheists to, to take them to their, to their uh, let us say, you, you have a child, he is six years old, and you want to speak to him. Based in his, uh, you know, mindset, he's a child, he's a kid. Okay, okay, Big Bang. Uh, our God in the Bible says, "Let be light," and it was. Is that the explosion you are talking about? We do not need your Big Bang theory. Until now, you cannot even study that body of a stupid human being. You see, the reason a human being, a human being, is not being, you know, healed. Or let's say science is not able really to fix your body they can help you with some diseases by practice like they can make a surgery for you it by practice we learn that here we do that and there we do this uh, we, we we can make a medicine and we try it and by practice first we try it in the rats and then we try it in you so you so you are the bigger rat and you might die because of our medicine not because of your disease until now the science cannot understand the sensor of a human being because we have millions of sensors in our body Millions, not th hundreds of thousands. And until now, they could not even find out how many they are. Why? Because our science is very limited. So we don't believe in God because of science, because science could not prove anything anyway and cannot disapprove. Same time, there is something nobody can explain. You know, if a scientist would explain to me love, hmm, Okay, all of us, we are animals. So why the lion, he eat his babies? Why the monkeys, he eat his babies? Uh, they are, we are, all of us, we are creatures. They have a blood, we have a blood. They have a heart, we have a heart. They have kidney, we have kidney. They have sound, we have sound. They have eyes, we have eyes. 
but obviously we are totally different creatures there's one of us he gain, he been given gifts the other one he don't have it why we as a human we are able to do things nobody can do or from all the creatures have you ever seen a bunch of flies the open hospital they have a university of a fly I mean you cannot explain why the human is totally different from all other creatures only the human the others are just programmed as an example the ant does not learn how to be an ant she is exist and she do what the job is done through thousands of years before that end which mean she do not need to go for a training to be an ant the same as the cat you know you take a cat from her mother still she would act as a cat even though she did not grow between cats the way she clean herself the way she clean her dirt the way she lick herself the way you take you give her a shower she 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 uh, uh, jump her skin and her fur to 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 dry herself up it's the same every cat in the world does the one in the end of the world and the one who live in America it's the same but I find it very funny and very silly that an atheist always he try to merge his stupidity and make it look like smart I advise you all of you never please take an atheist video into consideration even if it's against Islam and I will tell you why I notice first that atheists they have dishonesty and I'm I mean why why he should be honest he is an atheist now I'm sure uh, I would like to see some atheist comment you will say to me oh, oh you Christians you are yeah I, I will say to you why we can be honest and you if you are honest it's mean there is something about you is not atheist why an atheist he should be honest why an, uh, why an atheist he try to be a good person what good person mean what a good person mean for someone he's an atheist is that a religious thing is that an ethical where do you get your ethic from if you believe that you are an animal animal is an animal animal does not have ethic big cat big fish eat the small fish as simple as that this is what animal does so you try to to prove to us 24 hours that you are an animal you are an ape and then suddenly you start saying that I am the one who will teach you ethic and then we look at your ethic we find it very funny and very silly all right so <clears throat> don't take what atheists they say to you even if they are even if they sound like they are attacking Islam because Islam is a cult and we agree Islam is a cult but they are a cult too don't the same as we say don't take the bible verse from jehovah's witnesses for they are witnessing to no one and they do not know jehovah and their bible translation is false don't learn a christianity from somebody who's a mormon for he is not a, he's not a christian and don't learn about god from somebody who says he's a muslim because his god is not our god so we have to be careful if somebody he might be uh, you know like uh, okay uh, uh, this guy he is exposing Islam as an atheist hmm okay but here we go he inserted in the middle of his video something absolutely false have nothing to do with the topic and nothing to compare with it and it is accurate by science what the Quran has to do with this verse the Quran saying that God he, be, he the God of Islam Allah he placed the mountain in the top of the earth so it's not going to be shake does the Bible says that it says the opposite and you and you yourself you admit it it says roots when you say roots it's mean this is where it started does not mean it's nails when I say the root of the issue it's mean where the where the issue started where the problem started are you silly or is stupid you know, I thought English is not, I'm not good in English, but sound like even those who they are born in England, they do not speak English. Right?
so you know we we uh, we always and this is the issue and this is why actually I made this video one of you he sent me this video and supposedly and not only that the person he said to me download this video and post it in your in your Facebook I mean Christians okay uh, video why I want to why first of all why I would download somebody else's video and post like I'm going to learn from them they will teach me something they knew more than I do and not only that we find that they are playing dirty game trying to fool you as a Christian and here we go you download their video and you repost it in different place because you did not watch carefully my friend atheist is somebody is suffering from the same issue a Muslim he is suffering from something is called denial the atheist he stay an atheist as long he is healthy in the day he have little pain in his tooth he say oh God they are fake and they are not real and I believe that the idea of being an atheist is very comforting for somebody who want to be guilty and I will explain to you I want to be let us say a person who would do anything but how I can do everything enjoy the life the way I want it and yet I believe that there is sin I believe that there is fire hellfire that's not going to be suitable I will not I always I will have a problem I will feel guilt so the best way to kill my guilt is to believe that there is no God and there is no sin and I do whatever I wish this is the whole story this is why we see atheists they sponsor anything weird as an example they like to legalize drugs why how somebody is sponsored science and science says if you take drugs you die and then the atheists are number one supporters for drugs what is the logic of a scientist or a person who say or he tried to say to us he believe in science An atheist, he sponsor uh, gay relationship, and they sponsor it. Big deal. But even science prove that gay relationship. Forget about religious, uh, you know, rejection. Even according to science, gay relationship is very dangerous, and many of people who practice it, they end dying in a very, very hard diseases. I'm not saying that. This is science. I'm not a doctor. And thank God I did not experience such a thing. So I do not know really what happened to them. But your scientist doctors, your atheist doctors, they say that those who practice such a thing, they suffer horribly. So why do you want to do it? Don't you believe in science? Atheist is the same as a doctor. You go to him and he said to you, stop smoking and yet he smoke. You know what I mean, guys? A pastor he is saying through Islam is peace tell the pastor you are talking about that he need to take some bills and he need to have a diarrhea it's called peace diarrhea this guy is no pastor he is a bastard because a pastor he always speak the truth so how he can be a pastor but yet he lie so don't give him that title I give him different one and he want to call me he can call me and I will give him the same name still actually someone he claim a Christian yet he lied to Christians he is not a pastor he is a bastard isn't it the Bible says whoever deny the father and the son he is an Antichrist so how a pastor he is saying it's not mean peace when the Bible says he is the Antichrist all right and you know me I don't sugarcoat things I say it as it is I don't care who like it who don't like it this is me
this is me i mean what i can do hmm? i go by my bible not by a pastor or sorry pastor I mean, these days, anyone he called himself a pastor. By the way, somebody they they, they call me. Are you pa a pastor, Christian prince? I said, I'm no pastor. I'm a guy who carry my gun with me wherever I go. You can say I am the earthly Peter, who go beside Jesus and he have a sword with him when the soldiers came to capture him. I am not a priest. I am not. A, I am no one. But I say the truth as it is. All right. Now, this is why we say, Jesus, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So how somebody claimed to be Christian, he is doing his will by saying Islam is peace. Isn't it Islam who killed the Christians? Isn't it Islam who occupied the land of the Christians? Isn't it Islam who forced jizya on the Christians, die or, or, or pay? So what, what kind of a donkey this donkey is? So my friend, not every donkey in the world, he say, I'm a priest. We make him a priest. There's many donkeys of them. There's child molesters, there's a criminals, there's drug dealers. You know, all of them, they try to wear, you wear a uniform to make them look like holy men, either to get into your pocket or maybe even to your bed because they are like Muhammad. What, what the purpose of Islam? Why Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet? If you read the Quran, you will find Muhammad, he want few things from you. Vagina, money, power. That's it. And there is many who claim to be Christians. They want that from you. There is something in the Quran, and the Quran is copying the Bible, but yet the Quran is speaking about the apostle of Jesus, if you remember. In chapter 36, in chapter 36, It says that take or follow those who ask you no wages. And this is speaking about the three messengers of, the, of, of Christ. And one of them is Paul. And here you find the Muslim city Muslims, they keep attacking Paul. But they do not know that even their city scholars, they mention Paul to be messenger of Allah. Now, actually, you just remind me of something I don't want to forget. Give me a second. A silly Muslima, she posted something in the comment section today. Uh, let me grab it. <coughs> and I will show you how silly the Muslims are. They are the same as the atheists. They have the same infection. This Muslima, her name is Basma or Bas Basrama. I don't know what it is. She said, I am losing your video, CP. I'm beginning to like it. By the way, you are the one who teach your fellow Christians that Paul, the hijacker of Jesus teaching, one of the messenger of Allah, that's very strange. If Paul was one of the messengers of Allah, then Abu Bakr, Osman, and Ali, or Ali Christians, you know, all they are bastards. They are not Christians. And you question your scholars and your Quran about considering Paul the messenger of Allah, not me. And I will tell you why Allah, he decided, and why Muhammad, he decided to join Paul to the, to the chain of the good names in the Quran. You see the Quran mentioned the name of Mary. Is that because Islam teach that Mary, she was a Muslim? Eh, you will say yes, right? But all of us, we don't know. But he needed the name of Mary. He didn't need the name of Jesus. He needed the name of Musa. He needed the name of all the good names to make himself look legitimate. And this is why I find it very silly, stupid of Muslims to say that Paul was the hijacker of Jesus' teaching because how come your prophet he did not know that, and he never mentioned him. In the top of that, he make verses in the Quran speaking about the three messengers. One of them is Paul, and he is the most powerful to be the messenger of Jesus the Christ. 
So the question you ask, ask yourself how silly you are to say Paul is the hijacker of Jesus' teaching when you're a prophet, the idiot, he don't agree with you because he's silly and you are smart. And when you say to me, oh, so if Paul was the messenger of Allah, then Abu Bakr and Usman and Ali was Christian. You see how stupid you are? How you can compare somebody who is a messenger to someone he is supposedly, according to Muslim, is just a convenient. He is not a messenger of God. Unless you consider Abu Bakr and Osman and Ali messenger of God that because you are a silly person who don't use their mind when you speak In the top of that if we ask the Muslims Why Allah Prophet Muhammad? He did not mention Paul in any negative statement before How come Zak and Nike he knew more than the Prophet? Why the Prophet of Allah after all thousands of hadith is speaking about diarrhea shaking your penis I mean, he have time to talk about boogers, to talk about how to clean your ass with three rocks. He have time to tell you about how you can wear your wife clothes to receive verses from Allah. He have time to tell us about how and how shaitan is sleep in your nose, piss in your ears, play with your penis, uh, uh, go inside your anus. All this time he have to tell us a story, which is funny and stupid, but he have no time to tell us that Paul is the one who hijacked Christianity. And then... If we go and search the reference of Islam, we find that all Islamic scholars, they agree that Paul was a messenger of Allah. So you Muslims have a problem. You are copy-paste, the same as the atheist. An atheist copy an atheist, and a Muslim copy an a, a Muslim. And we, a Christian, we don't copy. We study and we read. And this was an order of our Lord. He said, read the books. Not like you in the Quran where it says ask no questions in chapter 5 verse 101 Now the verses in front of us here it says it clearly that There's a three messengers was sent And those three messengers are Paul and John and Peter now the Muslim they will say to you where in the Quran it says that well hold on your interpretation says that not the Christian interpretation it's your interpretation saying that and look what the Quran says here and I find this is very important where Muhammad he started from the Bible it says follow those who do not ask you any wages who is the one who says that Paul Follow those who ask you no wages. So how you follow Muhammad? Muhammad, he asked women to give their vagina as a gift. Muhammad, he asked for the fifth of every attack from the booty. Muhammad, he asked the Muslims before they meet him, they have to pay. Especially if you want to meet, meet, meet with him in private. So this is a verse fit perfectly with the messengers of Jesus who ask for no wages and this is why we should follow them and this is why the verse says follow those who they ask you for no wages and you can go right now check yourself chapter 36 verse number 21 22 23 is talking about who you will see that the muslim scholars in every way in every mean agree that those are the messengers of jesus the christ and one of them his name in arabic is Paulus, and that's mean paul in in, 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 uh, in english and the second one was uh, peter and john so the Muslims always they attack Paul because they are ignorant not because they are really knows what is written in their book The funny about Muslims is they are the last one to know It's the same as Muhammad when they told him that your wife is a cheating around Muhammad is the last one to know because Jibreel is not Jibreel is going blind. He will not tell him Now if there is any brave Muslim, he would like to say to me, I am lying about Paul is mentioned in the Quran interpretation. I challenge you. And here, by the way, we have a question. How Jesus can make somebody messenger of God if he is a messenger himself? Imagine I am just, you know, a messenger, and then I make you a messenger. Can a messenger make somebody else a messenger of God? No, he cannot. 
a messenger of God have to be sent by God not by Jesus unless Jesus is God so the chapter here proved to us that Jesus must be God otherwise how those are three messengers hmm? became the messengers of Jesus As somebody said in the text now, it says messenger of messenger of messenger. That will be funny. So if Paul and Peter and John are messengers of Allah according to the Muslims. And again, I say that Muslims are adding those names because Muslims are the same as a priest. When I'm talking about Islam or Muhammad, Muhammad or his religion of Islam is the same as a prostitute lost its honor. And she is trying to earn honor. So she tried to say this guy he is my cousin and this guy is my cousin and this guy belonged to me you know so they search for all the good names what we need like mary hey, let us bring mary oh, oh uh, isa bring bring isa uh, uh musa musa okay uh paul paul come on paul uh john let us add john oh peter let us add peter why because muhammad he have no honor and he is trying to make honor of himself by adding those names to his cult did you ask yourself why the Christian don't say Muhammad was a prophet and he was a messenger of Jesus? Because that would be horrible. That would be an insult to Jesus. But Muhammad is speaking about Jesus and Paul and Peter. That would be honorable to someone like Muhammad. Not vice versa. Now, if we go in the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 14, and you can open any Islamic uh, uh, interpretation, you will see with me, it says the following, that uh, those are the messenger of Jesus the Christ. And that additional proof that Islam is a very confused cult. Cannot Muhammad cannot keep his mind set. I mean, how you say that Jesus is a, is a prophet, and then you come to us with a statement saying that those are the messengers of Jesus. How a messenger can make somebody a messenger. In the same time, you see how silly the Muslims when they keep attacking, insulting Paul, when their scholars agree that Paul was a messenger of God and he was one of the greatest, actually. One of the greatest. Let us go here. And read together the story of the people of the town when the uh, the messengers come to them and the report of the transmitted from Ibn Abbas blah 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 the city is Antioch guys the city of Antioch this is a very clear copy paste from the Bible about Christianity that the Bible speak about messengers who went to Antioch is that correct people Did Jesus go to Antioch? No. So who is the one who went there? The messengers of Jesus. As simple as that. So the Quran claimed that the messenger of Jesus are messengers of Allah, and yet they are Paul and Peter and John. And here they are giving them names as titles. Sadiq, Saduq, Shalom. I mean, <laughs> which means the, the truth, the truthful, and the peace. And then narrated that the city was Antioch. Uh, and there he did say, We sent to them two messengers, they denied them both, mean they has hastened to believe in them. So we string them or we reinforce them with the third, mean we supported them and we string them with the third messenger. Ibn Juraj narrated from Wahab, from Ibn Sulaiman, from, from, from. The name of the two messengers were Shamoon, which means Simon, Simon Peter, and Johanna, which means John, Johanna. And the name of the third was Bolos. Do you see it, Abdul Potato? Hey, Abdul Potato, do you see it? What is the name of the third? So it is not me who teach my followers that Islam teach. It is your teaching, you idiot. I'm just getting you busted. Bulos have nothing to do with Islam, and your prophet is nothing but a thief. He stole he steal name to give himself an honor.
so when we show you what written in your book not because we believe in it we are spanking you and there's a huge difference so when you call Paul names, you are insulting your religion, insulting your God, insulting your prophet, accusing him to be a liar, and we agree. We agree that your prophet is a liar. And here, your prophet, he made himself look like a fool because how Jesus is a messenger, yet he is sending messengers. And remember, those are not messengers to deliver a message. They are messengers of God. This is what the Quran says. The Quran says we sent to them two messengers. They denied them. And then we reinforced them with the third. Who is saying we? Supposedly Allah. But all of us, we knew that those are the messengers of Jesus the Christ. So shut up and you've been spanked and served. And don't ever there to play with the Christian Prince you are no match and you are no one if there is any Abdul in the bushes so we don't show those verses and show those texts because we believe in it all of this is garbage we don't believe in it we don't believe in Muhammad even your prophet he do not even know how to quote the name correctly if you read the name in Arabic, you will see how funny the Muslims are. They don't even know how to quote the name Yohanna correctly. They don't know even how to quote the name Shama'un correctly. This is why Muhammad, he said, Miriam is the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? There's nothing is called Amran. Who is Amran? Moses is the son of Amran. Who is Amran? It is Umram. So Muhammad, he thought that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses, and both of them, they have a father. His name is Umran. Why? Because the city Muhammad, he'd been taught by the Jews that Aaron and Moses, they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So he thought this is the same Maryam. She is the mother of Jesus. So now, according to the city Muhammad, <laughs> Moses is the uncle of Jesus. Hey, Moses, I am Jesus. How uncle, how are you? I see there is a Muslim here. He's upset. Right. That's a good. That's a good sign. Prove me wrong. You're a prophet. Could not quote a one name correctly. Not even one name. In the Quran, one he say, one he called him Abraham, one he called him Ibrahim. Ibrahim in the Quran, his father, his name, his his name is Azar. Azar in in Aramaic means foolish or stupid, in the old Aramaic. So now the Muslim they think that the, the name of Abraham father is a foolish. Why? Because the Quran says that Abraham he said to his father, Azar. And they could not translate the word, so they say this is his name. But the fact this is a this is a word Muhammad is stealing from people who they are around him, and they said to him, Azar did not translate, which is a word mean foolish. Foolish, are you going to worship an idol? That's what he was saying to him. This is why in this cult everything is mixed up. The Holy Spirit is Jibreel. How in the how in the world he is an angel and he is a Holy Spirit? Even the city Quran says that the spirits are not angels. They are two different creation. Is that right? Any Abdul disagree? Hmm? If I am a Muslim, the Muslims, they agree regardless if I am saying something stupid or not. They agree. Here we go. This is your city Quran saying that they, when the spirit and the angels are ranked together. If the angels are the spirit, it's going to be silly to say the angels and the spirit. Do you see it? So how did, how do you believe is the Holy Spirit?
if I say that if I say the cats and the dogs that's mean dogs are not cats and cats are not dogs otherwise when I say and that's silly if they are the same so my friend I advise you if you are a Muslim to believe in Allah because he is the only one who will increase the size of your penis and we will make it endless as the Prophet said and this is the only sign proving to us that Muhammad is a true prophet there's no other God in this whole universe can increase the size of the penis except doctors in Thailand and take into consideration that the penis Allah will provide is endless which is nothing really can com be compared and it's for free and today actually in the previous video we showed you how Allah he made a surgery for Muhammad to install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith in the chest and the stomach of the Prophet and until now the Prophet by the way he is digesting that dish because it's so big so when a Muslim he speak about God about religion we laugh how many of you watched the previous video guys how many of you watch it please if you don't watch it soon I was going to be taken down go watch it or download it and or you can search for the same title actually I changed the title uh, two hours ago uh, the title was ethic in Islam something like that uh, I made it now uh, how Allah install no, how Allah make wisdom let me see what the new title is hold on <coughs> I mean this God is something man we have to admit this God is a super you know sometimes I try to compare between Allah and Mr. Bean and I find Allah he win I mean Mr. Bean is no and not even close to be considered smart compared to to Allah this is the name the new title I, I gave you know it says uh, uh, why Allah give his wisdom and faith in dishes I mean have you ever heard of a God he give wisdoms and faith in dishes only in Islam my friend and actually all of us we would like to be served and have such a like meal you know but the funny the Prophet did not even eat it which is very weird the angel he have to cut his throat install the dish inside uh, the wisdom inside in inside his uh, his throat and his his stomach uh, which I find very uh, unique and if you still until now don't believe that the Prophet of Allah is a true Prophet then you have to explain to me how such an amazing beautiful surgery happened Do we have any Muslim have an objection? Watch the previous video so you can read the story with us. And always we use uh, Islamic reference, which is approved by them, believed in by them, written by them, printed by them, translated by them. How amazing. I'm very thankful for you, Muslims. Imagine, look at this. Those stories collected by them, printed by them, put in books by them, translated by them and give it to us so we can love how grateful we are if this is alone is not enough to prove to you that the prophet is a true prophet you must be crazy And by the way, there's a secret I don't like to share with people, but as long as we are in YouTube and this is a private public forum, and you can post it later in Facebook and in Twitter. And me myself, I became very wise because Allah He sent me three angels and did the surgery for me, and they cut uh, down from here to here. Oh, this is my boss. Okay, from here to here, and uh, uh, they install a dish of uh, uh, falafel. And since then, I became so wise and so smart. And I cannot really, I cannot explain why uh, Allah He chose to send me that dish and He installed it in my stomach, 
I mean, I cannot explain that to you. You can ask Allah. I don't know. Allah is all uh, knowing. I don't know. Hmm? I mean, even this, even even faith come in dishes and we install it in the stomach, in his stomach. I am truly convinced. If there is any Muslim here, he don't agree. By the way, I like the Muslims who threaten me. One of them, he says, I'm going to buy all your books and I'm going to burn them. And since then, I'm waiting for that purchase. I mean, why, my friend? Why you don't do your threat? Buy all my books and burn them. I mean, come on. That's scary. You want to buy all my books and burn them? All of them? Please. Imagine I wake up in the morning and I find that 1.3 billion, they bought my books and they are burning them. And I print more. <laughs> Unbelievable. That I think they say that to me because Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom in their stomach too. I don't think this is coming from out the space. I think this is because Allah, he gave him a special high IQ. It's not just, you know, I mean, there's no way that they just say that like this. It's Allah inspiring them by a dish of wisdom. Anyway, I'm not going to stay longer with you. I guess, uh, you know, download this video too because it's not going to stay long. As you know, I don't keep my videos for long. So please share it, download it, and teach your friend about the truth. And the truth will set you free. And don't listen to anyone to learn your, your belief. Don't learn from your belief from somebody, at least he is not a believer. And secondly, even if somebody is a believer, you have to examine him first to see to see if he is really a true believer. And you better read by yourself. The Bible is there, and God He gave you amazing way to know Him. He said, Knock at the door and I will open for you. Come to me. He said, my sheep, they knew me and I know them. So my friend, you do not need me to teach you about your Lord. Talk to him, read his words, and he will talk to you and he will come to you and he will show you the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth is not in the hand of a man. It is in the hand of the Lord, which is given to you already. Read the books, he said, and you will find the truth. And he said, I am the truth. Anything else is false. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. The Bible says everything was created by him and for him. And yet they say to us, where it says that Jesus is God. By him, my friend. By him we are free. And this is why you see Jesus, he said, that in heaven he and she, they will not get married because we will be free. The best thing you can get from God is your freedom. Freedom from what? From needs. Because we are at the end of the day living a slavery of needs. We need to sleep. We need to eat. We need to drink. We need money. We need to, to stay away from cold because simply we are trying to survive. This is our needs. Survive. And then when he says to you in heaven, you will not get married. He and she, you will be the same as angels, which means you will be out of needs. And then you will know a different level of happiness which only people who live with God knows. Until that day, my beloved brothers and sisters, we say to you, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And we we'll see you soon again. Take care and good night. Bye-bye.